I'm Roger Batt with the Idaho Weed Awareness Campaign, and I'm here with Twin Falls County Weed Control with Michael. I appreciate you being out here today with me, yeah. Michael. Uh, we've identified two new noxious weeds in the state of Idaho this year. This is 2014. And uh, two of the new species are Iberian uh, star thistle and also purple star thistle. And this is uh, purple star thistle. From my understanding, it comes from Europe. Uh, it's native over there. Uh, obviously, it, it probably escaped as an ornamental or came over here uh, through, through some kind of means. But it is noxious in the state of Idaho, it's designated as such. Michael, can you tell me a little more about this plant and uh, the serious threats on our lands? And we're out in the pasture here today, and obviously there's impacts to grazing animals and to the landowner here. Um, as you can tell on the tops of these, there is, uh, it's kind of like yellow star thistle. It has uh, pointy parts that wouldn't be good for a cattle or something to eat because it would get down into their throats. Um, there is no toxicness to it like the yellow star thistle, but uh, it is, the cattle eat around it. It's, you look around, you can kind of see it's grazed off, but not around here. It can be an annual or biannual or a perennial, all three, which is rare in uh, most noxious weeds. You can tell uh, by the purple flower on the top, of course, but also these really uh, jagged spines, and they're almost like hypodermic needles when you walk through them, just like yellow star thistle. Uh, also, uh, it, it appears that it likes water because it's in an area where there's uh, been water in the pasture, so it thrives in, the, in uh, irrigated situations, probably in riparian areas. I would imagine it would thrive in those areas as well. But this is one of two uh, new introduced uh, species to the state of Idaho and we want to make sure that when we find a species like this that as soon as we find them we eradicate them. It's called early detection and rapid response. We don't wait around for this thing to spread from county to county or landowner to landowner. We try to come out here like these good folks out here do. Uh, hit it maybe with milestone or a certain uh, herbicide that might uh, work very well and uh, get rid of this plant so that this pasture can go back to grazing and cattle don't have to be forced out of their uh, grazing land.